Hey everybody, it is James Nell here, and today's video is going to be about the 2020 Ford Ranger. And I say today's video, but I mean uh, pretty much a month. It has took me to start and finish and get this video out. Um, it originally was going to be one amp, and then I realized that the amount of work to get to one amp and sub and leave the factory door speakers in was ridiculous and i wanted to make sure that everything was upgraded at the same time so that i didn't have to come back later and basically undo what i did and redo more work you'll see some of the logic in that i hope um but what we ended up doing is both amps sub uh door speakers tweeters um and a bass knob and here's all the good, bad, and ugly of it. Hope y'all enjoy. So you let it down off its two little bolts. And then you can drop down and... That is where we're going to go in at somehow. Okay, so the boot... Comes... Right there. That's where the wire is going to come through. Right there where that little hole is in the rubber boot. Okie dokie. So we got that monster of a bolt back in because it is very tight right there. That one's real easy. Got the uh, one wire through the firewall. Got it tucked up all nice and neat around. Everything under the hood is done. Except putting in the fuses. You don't put the fuse in until you get the amp hooked up. Because you never know what's going to happen until then. Alright, so. Wires through the hole. <laughs> Let's pull up some plastics. paid $11 for this kit for pulling plastic trim. Let's see if it's worth it. So Ford has a one, two, three bolt pattern to mount your speaker on. You gotta order these little trim rings. These inside holes are for five and a quarter. You break them off. I mean, quite literally break them off. Just shove your six and a half in there. I used uh, nuts so that I could take them off and put them back as many times as possible because I don't know how long these PRVs are going to last. But that's it. Four more to go. Or three more to go. Okay, here we are. We're going to take some door panels off. i got to run a wire from the, the factory speaker output back to the high-low converter and then from the amp back up back into the woofer and up for the tweeter. So I gotta run three wires per door. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, in order to take these loose, you gotta get in there, pop off a little plastic panel back in there, real easy. Take this cover off, pop out a couple of, uh, I think it's T20 or T25 Torx heads. There's a couple down here. I can't remember if they're T25 or T20. And then, I think that's it. And everything else is just clippies. Here's the plug that you can get from Crutchfield. Um, Metro brand, yep. For Ford vehicles 2010 and up, they give you the nice extra wires that split back up to the factory tweeter, or you can cut it and run your own stuff. I'm not doing either. I'm just going to plug that up into a wire that I run back to the back for the high-low. But, I did hook one up and run the, uh, the six and a half, each one of the six and a halves, just to sit, make sure they still work because I've been in the blue truck not playing for a long time and I haven't heard them individually in a long time. They work. So, upon taking the door panel loose, I unhooked the uh, lock switch and I hung the panel like that so that I didn't have to disconnect the door lever cable because I'm not doing all that crap now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the factory 
speaker loose and put in the aftermarket speaker and then run the wires through that grommet take all that loose and head them to the back okay so the speaker was going to hit the motor so i had to use a spacer in between right here to pull the speaker off the door a little bit to keep it from hitting the window motor or not the motor but the window bracket as it come down um harness in push the extra wires back through wire going up for the tweeter woofer is mounted three wires ran through used a little bit of lotion got the job done all right let's get that run back and do the back okay so i've got the two wires that i'm going to run for the back door since the tweeter's not going in a back door and this is the harness that comes in for the factory wires i'm going to cut the top of the harness off so i can run the wires along the top of it and then fold it under the factory grommet so i'm just going to cut that nub off okay right there is what i was talking about so we got the signal for the high low and this the speaker wire for the woofer coming back in right on top of my little cut and that just go right back down on top of it. All right, pop the back vents out. We don't need those. I'm gonna put some sound deadening over it, reseal it up. This one was already leaking and coming, letting water come into the back of the cab, so it's not like they were doing their job anyway. Sound deadening applied. Cover the big holes. Hit the highs couple of the lows sound and then you don't really need to cover the entire panel you just got to get the center of it so it doesn't tin can and go doing 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 but really these high ones the wood's gonna rest on it and that'll keep it the wood from squeaking sitting here trying to find somewhere to ground everything and it looks like right here on the left side of the seat bracket is gonna be where it goes in the open spot to the side of that spot weld. I want to put it on this side of the seat belt bracket that way the wire goes up and over to match the power wire and it'll go into the distribution block easily. There's the ground. Scrape the paint. Big fat screw. Big fat lug. Wire. Power wire. Almost there. Okay, so because I had to space the speaker out from the door I have to come back in here and cut this nice little lip there it is there's that lip I'm gonna cut that lip out that way the door panel will fit with the bone saw okay right, there's your factory tweeter it's actually pretty substantial it's just held in there by little clippies over here there you go. Clippy. Clippy. Use a pair of pliers or a screwdriver. Pry them out of the way. Pull the tweeter out. Push a new one in. It clipped right in. No problems.
So I did the preliminary cuts. I got it put in, test fitted. It's a little tight on the sides since it's not carpet and it's not going to be as flush against everything like carpet. So it's going to have to have a little bit more gap on the side. Take a little bit off the bottom to make it line up on the bottom a little bit better. Knock out a notch for the, uh, the jack. Try again in a minute. 